Welcome to Folk East Lockdown. It's pottery special today and I'm digging a hole and finding some clay out of this old farmyard stream that my dad said they used to put the cows walking through here just to wash them down before they took them into the, the dairy to milk them. Anyway, we're going to dig down here and we'll see if we can find some real blue clay. Ugh, got some. Take off this soil and we're ready to go. It looks a bit muddy, but it'll be fine. We're going to clean this up and we're going to make some pots from it. Okay, I've got some things set up, Blue Peter style. Here I've got some of the clay and I've break it, broken it up into lumps and got it really, really dry. Taken out all the bits of stone and mud, grass, worms, everything else. And then I've put it in a big bowl like this and I've poured water over it. And if I stir that, it will eventually become a slurry sort of soup, a mud soup. So if you like mud kitchens, and this is an adult mud kitchen, you can get some clay out of your garden and have a go. And by stirring and stirring and stirring, we should get the mud soup looking a little bit more like this and all the lumpy bits will fall to the bottom. We then get a kitchen sieve and I'm going to pour that through the sieve just to catch all the bits and bobs that you don't need like that and that then will rest and settle we'll take the moisture off the top and then once we've got the mud at the bottom we're going to pour it onto some fabric something like that just to dry it out it's on an old slab from the garden which is absorbent a concrete slab and that will help the clay to dry once that's ready to take off the fabric or off the slab then it should come out looking a little bit like this here we are here's some we heard, we've had earlier and we've just got some of the clay that we've processed and dried and as you can see there are no lumps or bumps or bits of stone in it quite a lot of sand in there still but that'll be fine that won't hurt then you can model with that let's say we'll make a little bird now let's make a little thumb pot like you did at school thumb goes in shape that to whatever shape you like and there's a rule of thumb no thicker than your thumb no thinner than your little finger that means that the whole clay should fire evenly and hopefully should work in the fire it's quite sandy so we'll leave that sand in that will help the clay to be fired and to the air to get through and the flames to get through the clay particles to bake it hard and there we are and here's one that we made earlier same clay and I've got an old felt tip pen top and used both ends of the felt tip pen to make a decoration and my thumbnail to go around the edge now you can make something like that which is pretty good or something which is hollow it's got a little hole in it to let the air escape when it expands in the fire maybe a little chicken a little bird a little model nothing too delicate nothing to, no long arms or legs like a spider because then they're likely to break off so the risk here is around the beak of the chicken and the beak of the bird and again underneath make a hole to let the steam come out from the clay then we get the pot we wrap it in newspaper and we're going to give this TLC tender loving care and then we're going to put it in the barbecue and put some sawdust over the top quite a lot of sawdust because we want the flame the fire to burn down slowly and we get some kindling some slightly larger kindling break that up and then some wood on top just as if you're going to light a barbecue like this set fire to that let it burn out let it get going and then just put the lid on 
to allow some of the smoke to come through but not to burn too quickly. Let it burn down gently and hopefully, fingers crossed, you'll end up with a pot inside there that's been fired and it may change colour. This pot here, local clay, been in the smoke and comes out quite hard at about 800 degrees if we're lucky and there we are, your homemade pot made from your own garden.